Hey there, Xbox fans. This is Lightning Strike Prime coming at you with a, a kind of a short video review. This is mainly for the people who have no idea how to use the uh, Xbox controller. So, um, straight into the review. Now, firstly, what you guys would notice is that it's a lot slimmer and a lot sleeker than the original Xbox controller. So, it, it will fit in your hand a lot better than the massive, like, black one that comes out like that, and then it's got these tiny little handle things, and, ugh. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's go into the buttons. A is sometimes for acceleration, mainly for jumping, if you have, like, a, a game where you're playing around as a human. If you're in a car... Uh, it, it sometimes maybe for like E break or something. B is for like melee and Halo. I don't know what it is in other games because I only got two. Y is sometimes to see a friends list online or you know just uh, swap weapons or you know I have no idea. Sorry. Um, X for Halo is to set up bubble shields and uh, health regeneration regenerators and all that. Or it's review or something, I don't know. Uh, on the original Xbox controller, there would have been white and black. Like, on the big one, it would have been here and here. Like, you know, the one with the massive Xbox kind of thing. And on the SD controller, it would have been here and here. Well, they've swapped them for bumpers. Which is right bumper, left bumper and all that. <clears throat> so, yeah. Right bumper is on the rear view as well. But it's mainly for picking up weapons or getting in vehicles or something. Or flipping vehicles. Uh, or like opening doors. Right trigger is for like shooting, acceleration. It's the main like button that you're probably going to be using. So yeah. Left bumper. Well, it's like to pick up other weapons, like secondary weapon. Sorry, dual weapon even. So yeah. And left trigger is to shoot your secondary weapon. So, yeah. Uh, there's also a sync button, which will be on the Xbox under the uh, uh, memory slots. So, you press the Xbox one, and the rings, which will be around the Xbox, will do, like be circling around. And you press it on the controller, and they'll, like, you know, talk to each other or whatever. And then there'll be, like, a little button to separate your battery pack if you've run out of batteries. I've got batteries in mine about three out of four bars or something so they're pretty new next we've got the left analog stick which is the one for movement or driving or turning or whatever if you press it in it's for crouch in halo i don't know what it is in like gta 4 or something uh, then we got the d-pad which in uh, very big um, matchmaking groups with like sixteen people you have to press it to talk so yeah uh, the back button which is like to see who's on your team and who's playing and like matchmaking. I think that's it. You won't really be using it that much. You've got the guide button, which if you hold it down for three seconds, you can turn it on. And if you hold it down for another three seconds, a bar will come up saying cancel, turn off controller, or shut down console. So yeah. Uh, or if you press it in a game, you can sh it, it will show you your info your messages and all that or anything like that start is to like pause or go onto the game menu at uh... Hang on, I've done that the right uh... analog stick is for like moving your camera press it in to like zoom in or something so yeah and <clears throat> there's a little slot here for the play and charge kit which the play and charge will cover this whole bit here <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, you can play as a wide control if you want for a little bit until it charges up. And I think it will also charge up if you uh, don't have your Xbox on as well, which I think. So, yeah, if you get rechargeable batteries. So, yeah. And um, for the original Xbox controller, you'd have, like, memory slots to put your microphone in. Well, now it's under here, so it won't be coming across or coming under. So you'll be playing around with a Y while playing. It actually comes through here. Now you can actually get one that uh, is like a grey piece that comes out like that. And it has mute your microphone or something or volume right there. Or you can get the one that I have which just goes into that little circle there. 
and you've got a little switch to turn your microphone on or off so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah that's about it so yeah uh, thank you guys for watching I will be making another Xbox video very very soon might be still after Christmas but I've got the free trial of gold so I might be using that wisely but yeah so um I've only got Iron Hide to review out of my Transformers collection. I will be getting more like Scorpion, uh, Stockade, Landmine, anything like that. And Brawl as well, Leader Brawl. So yeah, my stop motion is delayed again. But that's because I haven't really had the time to plug in my PlayStation and actually play on that without playing on my Xbox and like recording one of the shooting sounds. For when he shoot, for when they shoot guns on stop motion. So anyway, this is the Lightning Strike Prime signing out.